Put those arm bands off. Come back for round three. We're gonna finish this sucker. Say goodbye to them shoulders because they're gonna be burning later. Every time I look around, I'm always losing my stuff. I can't ever find what it is I'm looking for. Hey, babe. Hey, uh, have you seen my arm bands anywhere? I can't figure out where they, oh, hey, ah, there they are, the arm bands. Okay, shoulders, that's what we're doing. We're finishing off those shoulders. Here we go. We got these big old heavy duty plates on here. And these are nice, these are pretty, these are heavy. I like heavy things, but with the Katsu bands, you don't need a lot of weights. You need one light weight, and this helps you really dial in to that pressure where you want things to be. So you control the intensity without a bunch of weights. You only need one weight in the Katsu bands, and you can pretty much do anything and everything. So we're gonna strip, strip this guy off of here. Pull this off. Stay with me now. Strip it. Okay, here we go. So we've got a 45 pound bar. Put the cycle on. We're gonna do pro. And actually, you know what? Let's do this the right way. Here we go. So hold down that L button right there, L. Take you to training mode and we're gonna go up. We're going up, baby, going up. So we're doing shoulders, 280. That's kind of, it's tough. We'll do 250. 250, 250's a nice round number. Here we go. Hit the red button. While those bands fill up, we are now going into training mode, which means your arms are gonna write you a really nasty letter later saying they hate you. And then tomorrow they're gonna be like, bro, bro, bro. 45 pound bar, you can grab light dumbbells. Got the bands on, 250 SKU. We are gonna rep out 30, a red press. Nice and smooth. Again, back to that same position. We already got geared up because we did that heavy isometric. So this should be nice and smooth. Three, four, next, and nine, 10, 16, I'm at 17, my arms are burning. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 8, that was 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I was throwing that 135 over my head. I think it was pretty easy. And I only got 45 pounds, and that felt like I was trying to lift the house. All right, we're going to slip this in here and transition away from the Olympic bar into a little bit more body weight stuff. We're going to put some weight back on this bar to anchor it down. Boom, there we go. Still in training mode. Don't want to stay here too long, but what's the opposite of this? That, simple as that. Pulls, straight arm pull down, okay? So again, working from the midline out, proximal to distal, center to the extremes. So do some overhead pressing. I gotta do some straight arm pulling down. This, that red band's too strong. We'll go back to this black one, this one was Pretty lightweight for puny, puny weak arms. But with the katsu, your arms feel like they're made out of stone. All right, terrible Arnold impression. Arnold's a man. Okay, straight arm pull downs. So let's go palms facing away. So I'm really gonna hit that tricep. But again, shoulder blades back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 30. Oh, my arms are burning. They're tingling. I feel like I got all these little needles prickling. Those are those capillaries, everything going. We need oxygen! All right, so we're gonna get out of training mode. 
hit the red button, that's gonna cut it. All right, hold the L button just like that. Take you back to the cycle. Okay, we're almost done. We're cycling out of this. Finish off these shoulders. We've got the katsu. We're gonna do, let's do pro low. Here we go. We did all kinds of shoulder work. So now we're gonna superset step raises, bicep curls, triceps. Two sets each, each, two sets of each. So we're gonna go ahead, start with tries. Why not? So kickbacks. All right, step on that rubber band, kickback. You're gonna do it length of the cycle. Three, four, five. You can change your hand position if you want. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, and 15. All right. Uh, in the cycle, get a little rest break, fill them back up. Round two, going to the old scap raises. So this one, stand on that rubber band, thumbs up. Again, we're going back to that Y, okay? Scap raises, playing the scapula, happy place to that shoulder. You know what, sometimes those handles get tricky. I got time for messing with handles. So just hold the rope. Scap raise, nice and smooth, shoulders back and down, up, really reach. Let those shoulder blades rotate up, upward rotation with your scap. Nice and easy. Oh, that was the end of that cycle. Okay, I think I only got like, what, like maybe one out of that one. It's okay, my shoulders are burning. All right, bicep curls, working our way around. We got cycle going, nice and smooth. Curls for the girls. Getting those bicep curls. My legs, nice, big old arms. Rip through those t-shirts. Ah, get tired. Ah, change that position if you want. Really pull, squeeze. Ah. Ah. I'm getting tired. How long have we been going at this year? Ah, it's been a while. I don't even know, it's been like five minutes. And again, Groundhog Day. Okay, cycle. This should be what, number four? Good. Back to the kickback. One more set of these guys. These guys. Kickbacks. Okay, tuck those hoses. Kickback. Adjust your feet, adjust your band so both arms are even. Five. Nine. Ten. Twelve. Fifteen. Ah. Now, even though say we're doing shoulders, arms, abs, and all that, I haven't done a whole lot of stuff directly for my abs, but my abs are a big force transducer. They transduce, transmit, whatever. Force goes from the top to the bottom, and your abs are the cornerstone. Very important. So things you do in standing, single leg, always work in your abs. Always, always. Don't ever sit down unless you have to. Okay, bicep curls. Last set of these guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, twelve. One. Ah, told you. Arms are crying. Arms are crying. Ah, ah. Wiggle them out. Ah. Take a deep breath. Okay, that's why I like the cycle because after you're torturing yourself. And let's go, a little bit of sunshine through the clouds. And then five seconds later, back on. Stop stalling. Katsu keeps you on track. Keeps you on track. Consistent. Okay, rubber band, last one. Ah, too heavy for that. So wiggle it again, reset. Much better. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. Ah. 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 Arms are tired. All right, so we did two and two. We've got two more cycles left. Let's get creative a little bit here. Let's gonna do the whole homemade forearm shy. So all this is fishing weights in a PC pipe with some sand. Yeah, I'm gonna do 
Pronation, supination. Pronation, supination. Do about five and then flip. Ooh, feeling that in those biceps. Oh, those arms are tired. Okay. Oop, I don't know what that was. You can also use it to stretch a little bit. Put that there. Just kind of stretch those arms out. Those arms are tired. Sometimes you just want to throw your arms up. All right, last set. Tackle number eight. Working the forearms, shoulders. What I like to do is kind of like a tomahawk throw, whatever you want to call it. Split stance, step, push, and back. Two, three, four, five. Strong arms. Switching sides. Same side arm, legs back. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then if you want, you can just kind of play around. I like to just kind of swing around sometimes, cycle eight, just really getting your forearms ready to go for your lightsaber time. All right, so that was it. We did all kinds of stuff today. Cats to armbands and leg bands, back to the armbands. I hope you enjoyed that shoulder workout. My arms are tired. I'm gonna take these bands off, give it a little, oh. There's that breath. When you take the bands off, all that blood rushes back into your heart and it makes you want to go, ah, it's over. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed that shorter workout. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, statements, check me out. Dr. Corey Kern. Have a nice day. See you everybody.